All right, so today we're gonna to do some live bait fishing. All we're gonna do is basically snag some bunker, which I'll show you. Today this is a 9-0 Gamagatsu octopus, sorry, 10 Gamagatsu octopus hook. Reels loaded up with 80 pound braided line. Some larger fish are in the mix on this old Iowa saltist. The rig, it's about four feet. So I'm using 40 pound monofilament, high quality barrel swivel got no weight however at the end of it I do have a fish finder slider just in case I decide to add some weight to it this, this won't interfere you can keep it on there if you fish with no weight you can use it uh, anyway if I end up in some deeper water I need to add weights I'm ready to go this kayaks all rigged up let's go hit it and uh, show you how it gets done We're taking our bunker down. It's another area where we might have some fish. I honestly don't know, but we're gonna try. And uh, we got some fish marks, but they might be small, you know? These smaller fish. I honestly don't know. I don't know. is right. Wait that, for that hit for a while. That was no joke, that hit. Alright. So that was with a weight. Gotta keep him out of this got some structure coming up here so I got to be careful that's all. all right he's back up towards the boat mm. oh, not good not good nice fish nice fish yep Slappy, do this. Yeah. It's a nice fish, actually. Yeah. Full of bonker too. Some gut on him. All right, back you go. See ya. All right guys, so I have one last tip for you and um, that I forgot to mention when I was out in the field, and it involves hook placement. And it's gonna be where you place your hook in the bait. All right, so I had this frozen bunker head in my freezer when I was uh, crabbing a few months ago. So basically, any of these large baits, this bait's about, you know, 12 inches long. There's a few spots you can hook them. Um, on the kayak, sometimes we, we, we drag them around, troll them, whatever you wanna call it. So there's kind of two spots I like to hook my baits. First, you can hook them from the bottom jaw and out, out through the top nostril like this, right? So when he swims around, his mouth's closed. These types of fish, they, they, they breathe and swim with their mouths open. 
Um, what this does is it singes his mouth closed. Whenever you do it, for whatever reason, they tend to swim a little deeper. So when you put the weights on him and you swim him around, drag him around, he's going to swim downwards. This does work well when the stripers don't want to chase their bait. They're not always on the feed. So uh, it makes a difference. Um, but when you pinch his mouth, you're basically drowning him, this, this bait. And it's going to die quickly. Not all baits are the same, though. Bunker, for example, need to swim with their mouths open to breathe. Stuff like spots and croakers, you can close their mouths and they'll live fine. The other spot you can really uh, hook them. I like to go sometimes to the nostril and out right behind the eye. Get your leader going there. And now it can swim and breathe freely. And the only thing is, if the bass don't want to feed, um, this bunker can really outswim that bass sometimes. It's really like a lazy sunny day bite. This isn't always the best way to catch fish in my opinion. But, you know, this is just how I do it. You, know, you might have your own personal strategies, you know. The last thing to add here, this is more effective if you don't have bait nearby and um, you're covering a lot of ground. Uh, this way your bait won't die as quickly. So that makes a difference too. This is basically all I have to add to that. So I hope you enjoyed these tips. Found this video entertaining? Just support the channel. Always, you can just leave a thumbs up on the video. Subscribe and comment below. We'll catch up with you guys soon.